able to get in touch with the owner of the horse, uh, two big surprises. One, there's somebody coming to pick the horse up in a couple of days. And two, the horse is a boy, according to the owner. I'm not a veterinary expert or anything, but I didn't see any dangly bits. So we're going to keep him as a guest here for the next couple days uh, until whoever's picking him up comes to pick him up. And then I'll slowly start to battle the, the other half. Shutter open. Shutter closed. Shutter open. Shutter closed. It's our nightly serenade from the coyotes. Putting cardboard down is something you've probably seen me do if you've been watching uh, any of this over the last couple of years. I do a great deal of this. I did it at my garden in Tulsa, Corey's garden in Tulsa, the empty lot in Tulsa, and now here. But it's a great way to build your soil and to cover up grass so that the grass doesn't grow and use a fully biodegradable, readily available, free material. Cardboard's great. You just lay this down, overlap it, it'll kill out all the grass underneath. You can pile mulch and soil on top of it and restart your soil, add height to your soil, and eventually the cardboard's gonna degrade and become nutrients. But you can pretty much get as much of it for free as you want. I've raided dumpsters behind stores, asked my friends, run up and down the streets with a little red wagon on trash day, it's free, and it's a lot better for the environment than plastic or tarp. If you don't have bricks to weight the cardboard down, you can go ahead and just throw dirt on it, throw mulch on it. That's eventually what we will do here, is pick up the bricks and cover all of this with mulch. We just don't have the mulch right now. So the bricks are temporarily holding it down so we can solarize the grass underneath. But you don't have to use bricks. Use flower pots. Saw one of my friends doing this using uh, planters like pots and things, containers for flowers. You can use gravel from the road, use handful of dirt. You can take a crap on it every three feet, wet it down with a water hose, whatever you want to do. Anything that'll hold it down, you know? I don't know what the wind is like where you live. My Montana friends might not be able to get away with this at all, but around here, it's all right. The horse still won't come near us even when we try to ply him with apples, but based on where he's been pooping, he has been eating horse apples from a horse apple tree over here. And he's got a water trough connected to an automatic well over here. So he's got everything he needs, uh, except friendship, which he doesn't seem too keen on. So we'll leave you alone, buddy. Come be our friend. You got everything you need. Is how you grow boxes? Yep. Honestly, a little red wagon is probably one of the most valuable garden tools you can have. Obviously, it's got to be a radio flyer.
Corey's gonna try the Grey Poupon ice cream. Give you her honest reaction. Oh. Is it? That's weird. It looks like this. Mm. Nope. Not good? Tastes like mustard. <laughs> Why is it called Van Leeuwen's, but it says French ice cream? Van Leeuwen's sounds Dutch. Just saying. Not that you can't immigrate. <laughs> it's it's off-putting. It's terrible. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. I mean, I don't hate it. I don't think it's disgusting, but... It tastes like good vanilla ice cream with pretzels in it. And mustard. Somebody squirted mustard in. Yeah. Like the mustard flavor seems out of place. I like to cut my bacon up in little pieces. And it's easier to shove a bunch of it in a pan. And it also makes you feel like you have more bacon. And if you're not utilizing your bacon grease, then you are a noob. Checking on you doing dishes. See how it's done. How we do it. Our bucket. Our bucket. And our bucket. with our black kitty. It's your first time, Lily. <laughs> Emily. You're, ro you're rolling. <laughs> you can see here where the roof was damaged years and years ago. And I've spent hours gathering up these bits of styrofoam all over the yard. I mean, they're, they're everywhere. Little pieces, medium pieces, big pieces. So I use the big pieces, I recycle them and put them back into the walls to add insulation. And I've recently started bagging up all these little bitty pieces and dumping them into the bathroom walls because the bathroom doesn't necessarily need to be insulated from the rest of the space temperature-wise, but sound-wise, you know, it'd be nice. So all these chunks are gonna fill out basically soundproofing inside the bathroom walls. So we're not letting anything go to waste. We're cleaning up the ground and using the resources however we can. One of my favorite things to do with the chickens is let them bite me. Let them bite me, it doesn't hurt. I mean, you would think it does, but it really doesn't. They can't peck hard enough to break your skin. They just nibble. I think she's the one that always chases him past. I'll make you a run soon. <laughs> Girls are finally at home, huh? We've been finding some plants that grow pretty commonplace on the land. We were hoping somebody could help us identify them. Almost look like tiny little cherry tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna focus on it. I don't think they are. That's what they look like on the inside. Hold on. I can hear your stomach growling. <laughs> 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 yeah, so if anybody knows what these are, before we get so hungry we eat them. <gasps> We'd also like some help identifying these berries that grow on the fence. Now, don't worry, Dad, we're not actually gonna eat any of this stuff. We're just trying to figure out what things are. They're tiny little black balls. Can you pop a leaf off so we can see the shape of it? Yeah. Oh, and it's just got one seed inside. Oh, I dropped it. Looks like a peppercorn. 
So, if anybody has any idea what these two gnarly thorns, too, tiny fruits are, please let us know. There's a bunch of little jelly guys, too. Look at this. Wow, look at all that slate. That's crazy. Did you get your water sample? Look at it under the microscope. Can you see any flagellates? I don't know. My eyes aren't that Taste good. Taste it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if it tastes like bacteria. Probably does. Look at this cliff over here. It's like 20 feet tall. This is our backyard. Hell to mow. Catch one with your bare hands? Yeah. Yeah. I think it'd take a lot of these to make a meal. <laughs> you can feed them to a cat. Oh, look at that base is just laid over there. That's a shower floor. The house right there. A little shed. A little tiny house. On that slab. That's a big one. Ooh. <laughs> we noticed a cave across the creek right there. There's an entrance big enough to go in. I'm going to see if I can get... Like that. Look at this, this massive natural rock slab. You could fit a basketball court on this thing. Yeah, there's the end of the chicken house. Mm-hmm. So this is literally our backyard. Oh, that's a jump right there. You gonna wait? No. All right, we need to make a step. Let's get a big rock. Now we have a step. Keep the phone on in case I bust my ass and fall in the water. No, it feels pretty sturdy. Okay. Yeah. Do you want me to push it? Whoop! <laughs> I've already fallen in one. Ooh. Nice! Give me five. <laughs> Here we are. Look at these channels the water cut. Oh, look at that. should just build a house down here so it can disappear under the floodwaters. Yeah. I found a really old record player. It's like a little 45 player. How many? Oh. Get them. Okay. Bring them back to the garden. They all hopped away. Oh, I see them going. The slab kind of disappears into this terraced stone wall up here. I bet all the snakes in the world live under there. Some more see if I can get to this edge of it before I turn around and go check out our cave.
There are some really pretty fish. I've run out of space for my feet. This is where we stop. Corey's brave. Some would say too brave. Uh, five feet. It would catch you if you fall in. I know. If you live in this area and you come down to the creek, I welcome you to come down here and have a good time. But if you leave your trash can behind, you're an asshole. Not trash can, trash in general, any trash. If you leave your bottles and your cans behind, Clap your hands, clap your hands, you're an asshole. So any creek zombies that tried to get up to our house would basically have to scale a damn near vertical cliff with loose rock. Feeling pretty good about this wall. Well, I mean, it's possible. Here's one of the caves, a little bitty one. another little cave. I'm gonna come face to face with something. Oh, this one's pretty deep, but it's too small to go in. Can't really see back in there either. Ah, here's the big one. Well, maybe not. It's somewhere along here. Whoa, cool. Looks like some of the caves we saw in Utah. Sunning on the rock slab like a lizard. Hey, wave at me if you're alive. She's alive. It's cool shaped rock. It's really big. There's the cave. That's the one we were looking at from across the creek. I don't know if I can get up there to it. That one would be big enough to hide in. I could walk in there if I wanted to. I don't think I do. I could see the end of it from here. No treasure other than the experience. Someday when I have treasure, I am hiding it in that cave. In an old timey treasure chest with traps. It is. <laughs> I have faith in you. I'm gonna end up in, in it. There's a dragonfly on it. I can't go. 
Move along, dragonfly. Nice.